Soto State Park. Yeah, that is the falls. The DeSoto Falls. Separate to the other falls. The little river falls. Right here is where we park the RV. Soto State Park in Alabama. Never been here before. So you have to go up here to the uh, store information center to check in. We're going to the campground. After you come in the gift shop, you sell some uh, essentials, t shirts. Some more campground essentials. It's in there. Toss. So you gotta do is flip up the net and you can toss it. Huh. That's pretty cool. Huh? Somebody must be a woodworker. A turner. Campfire pickers. It's an orange or something you can see. You yeah. Like the orange one? Yeah. His favorite color is orange. Something you can see, nice and sturdy, isn't it? Boy, it is. T-shirts. Coonskin caps. Cool. <laughs> That's uh. I'll pay for this, and then we'll go check out the laundry room. A neat game, yeah. Anyway, nice little store, kind of neat gifts, stuff you don't see at a lot of wood uh, campground stores, like all the wood stuff here. You want to get the firewood? Ooh, it's nice and small ones. And big ones. Just grab one. Got it. In the store, they have a place you can pay to go zip lining. It's called Screaming Eagles Zip Line Company Tour. They got their own little port in there. They've got their own little people in there that handle that. Ice is two fifty a bag, which is pretty cheap. They have all the zip lining equipment in there. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah, there's some of the zip lining equipment, helmets, and You just have to walk across the street, park your rig over across the street. The restrooms were clean. I'm pretty sure Jim needs to go check out the men's. It was seven bucks for a bundle. Sorry, you get eight. A lot of them are small ones, but I prefer small ones instead of big chunks. I'm wondering here at the port. It's really Fort Payne, but it's the Soto State Park in Alabama. It's pretty nice. It's like a dollar fifty to wash, dollar fifty to dry. There's three wood machines, two dryers, three dryers. Interpretive center, but it's a nature center. Bluebird house. Crayfish of Alabama. I didn't know there was different species. Huh. Huh. Well, Ohio don't. has different species. We used to catch them all the time. It's a huge turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else. Do they have 
have a display of the different pictures of frogs, trees, venomous snakes. Eastern rattlesnake. It's a bog. Carnivorous plants. Oh, they're cool. They got the Venus play traps in there. Yeah, you like it? Ooh. Are you eating? Let me show you what a uh, spotted bass looks like. I can't see what I'm even looking at. This is what a timber rattler is, or looks like. You don't want to meet up with one of them. And over here, we have a juvenile. What is it? Water snake? Midland water snake. Oh, yeah, he's right there. I'm turning it out too. He's not. Because I'm looking for a way out. <laughs> There is the corn snake. There's a big like aquarium. Doesn't currently have anything in it. A bunch more. Over here is a black snake. Looks like I didn't move the glass. There he is. He's sitting right there. It is a really nice little um, nature center. They also have butterflies and moth and different insects displayed over here that you can see. Like what the different types of beetles are, the different type of bees, butterflies, moths, grasshoppers, locusts. That's pretty, pretty cool. Bugs, yeah, there's some really big bugs. Okay, they gave us a gate pass to get in. Three, six, six, five. I just told you. We just need a little bit of a block on this side. Not much. Picnic table. We're on the very end, but if you look straight across, you will see that they have wood and ice, and then there's a way to pay for it instead of having to run all the way up to the store. Which is pretty nice. Lot of, itself is paved. All these pull throughs are. And then there's the fire pit. Looks like our fire pit has wood in it from the campers before left us some firewood. It has sewer, water, and electric. Through the gate, there is a trash area right there. And then you come into circle wood, wood circle. And they also have sewer. Also a nice campsite. Yeah, so I don't know if every lot has sewer, but they're just as equally as nice as the ones that we've seen in the other area. But so far, all of these, one through six, seven, eight, all have sewer too. Electric and sewer. Now, I noticed my note on my reservation set improved. Because ours is paved and these are not. Yeah. But that means our area has just been improved. Or sometime in the last period was improved. But these are gravel that are very laid, you know, that you can level pretty. No, 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 pretty easy. Well, I mean, no, you can level yourself out pretty good. These are great. I was thinking this loop, the wood loop, wood circle loop is like one through thirty something. There's a mini light. Not him. 
No, not him. He's a cute little guy. Playing in the creeks. I'll be trying to catch salamanders. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be too cold for salamander yet. I bet he doesn't care. Yeah. That one, that sewer, yeah. Well, at least have sewer. First part was one through thirty, and then you go on up and. Oh boy, they're separated, nice. Yeah. yeah. They're even more separated than the pull throughs. Yeah. That are in the part we're in. Mm -hmm. And they also have a. That's our camper right there. Yeah. Stop. Now I'm gonna go to the dump station. Show them the dump station now. So that circle was 1 through 35. And then we're going to go up here. It's one way only. Yeah. Did that just check again? Hmm. Yeah, it did. Turn no, I didn't. Yes, yeah, I was going to turn there. Dump stations this way. I'm not really sure that you need a dump station, but if for some reason your lot didn't have a dump station or you needed to do a dump. You couldn't reach? Yeah, I couldn't reach. Over here, so you're never even showing. Nice wide turn. Yeah, very nice. And since nobody uses it, it's nice and clean with a hose, which is great. Now you have to go down and then come up our road. Yeah. See, this is the pull through site, which is 47. No, it's not. It's actually 36, which is confusing if you're reading the map because 36 is clear at the end down here, and you go all the way up to the top, which is at the last one here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you go from 36 to 47 to the top of the hill and then you have to come back down and go to 48 through 58 which is the second row so they basically have three circles and they each have their own name can't go that way no we're just gonna drive around and see what we see there is the pavilion that has a picnic, a trash can at it for the pavilion, but that's not for everybody to use. There's also a water spigot there. Going down. Pull through sites go to the right, and the other ones back in sites are 59 through 94. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. See all the Pullman sites have gravel, neatly marked. You can see where to go. They also have water, sewer, and electric from whatever these are 49 through 50. No, 60 through 94, I believe. Yeah, 60 through 94. Which one is that reason? Huh? Yeah, for the weight. We'll just put our sign in. Huh? Our sign that goes on that campsite. Oh, okay. We'll put it on. I see right. these other people have theirs. I thought it was supposed to go in the window. No, it's the other thing. I don't see no day pass pass in there, so I don't know what you're talking about. And I wasn't there with you when you got it. But yeah, the sites are all pretty nice. I mean, you have to level because this is Alabama and the right by the Appalachia. It's in the hills. Mountains. It's in the hills, so you have. Which is cool. Well, it's really hard to find a level spot, so you're going to have to do some leveling. But they made it easy for you to level. Yeah, nice tent sites. There's a little hole in the road right here. Don't hit it. 
someone driving a golf cart is probably a volunteer. There's one of the shower houses. There's one back by us too. Yeah, but I'm looking to see if there's a trash can area. Everybody's wearing jackets. Except for us, we're wearing shorts. This is flag is really whipping. <laughs> That's why we're cold. It's super windy. Is that a Sundance? I like that Sundance. It's nice and big. He also has a 250. 2500. Yep, Chevrolet. Well, it has 94 lots. Oh, it does? That's why I said this was 60 through 94. Wow. Look at that screen. Oh, yeah. They have a uh, theater. They probably show movies on weekends or whatever. In the summer, it's probably quite often, but... Cool. That's cool. Reminds me of Tappan when I was a kid. It's great. Street. Straight across is the playground, picnic area, and swimming hole, which is open from Memorial Day to Labor Day. So as Jim circles around, you'll see there is a nice pavilion, and then there's a couple small ones that you can rent, and a pretty nice playground. Let's do a Yui. And it closes at sundown. And there is a fee to use the swimming pool on top of your camping. But the swimming pool, I think, is down that way, which is currently shut off, so we can't go see it. Pretty cool. We're going to show you the part of the zip line. See up in the trees, see the tower they built? There's two of them there. Two of them here. There's kids crawling up it for the zip line. And then there's two big towers right here that you climb up to go zipping. If you can see it right there, there is a boardwalk trail that you can take. That's a different trail within the campground. Oh, right outside the campground. The camera gear that we're going to lose in Alaska is the GoPro 8 and it'll be mounted to our dash. It has a quick release right here that all I do is squeeze it, turn it, pop it off. It's pretty reliable. It's uh, it's not always the easiest to use and then what we mean by that it's not the easiest to turn on and off. It's a little river overlook going down to the falls. It's one of the places where they gathered up the Cherokee Indians and some other Indians and made them do the trail of tears. Well, your trails go either way, but we're going to go down, I guess, right? Yeah. Pretty. It is. The rapids as you go down. Look how clear it is. Yeah. See the little rainbow down there? Of uh, the uh, state park here, but it's a lot nicer than what we thought it would be. So we're going to go ahead and do it. This is the place. <laughs> so this is a spillway, but I think the falls is there. Oh, okay, it falls down there. All right. They have a boat ramp that you can put your boat in. Right next to the falls. <laughs> right next to the falls. <laughs> they have a little beach. Sand area. Okay. Look 
kayak and canoe rental up there. This is uh, the beach. Yeah, you're not supposed to fish from there. This is a spillway and the falls are over here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Take these steps down. Pretty area. Ow. It's like a kayak there. Yeah. See it? What's left of one? What's left of one? They put this mosaic on the stairs coming down to the falls. Little River Arts Council. Just like we said, we're going to show you our camera gear. I just showed you the eight. So we had the GoPro 8. It's mainly going to ride in the truck. Um, and then we have a quick release that we can take it out and we can put it on any of our tripods or selfie sticks that we have. So I'm going to go over each one of these. So first we have a drone. This is a DJI. Is it Maverick, right? Mavic. Mavic 2, is it? Here, one, I think. One or two, I don't know. We own, my brother and parents own a hobby store, so we've had it. We haven't flown it much, so you haven't seen any videos with it because usually where we've been at is had strict of air, um, what's that called, airspace. So we're going to practice with this the next two months, and we're hoping to do some drone shots. Our still pictures, we have a Nikon 5600, and this is the regular lens that we have for it. But we also have the Zoom, which we're taking it along with us. We don't use it that often. It is a 300, 70 to 300. But the one that we are taking is this one. We're definitely taking this big one. It's what, the 600, I believe. And we've been practicing with that. If you've seen our... Uh, pictures that we've been posting on some of our videos they've been mainly taken with that especially at the Payne's Prairie we really practiced but we are taking this too because it's just lighter and this here tripod we had to get this one to hold that lens also this Nikon records really good so it's not only for still pictures but we are going to use it for taking actual videos, especially when we're sitting and just talking. Uh, we have two different um, things for it, or two different covers, but it has a mic, so we can either use this cover for it, or the, I can't remember what they're called, cat Dead hair. Cat. Dead cat. Dead cat. Um, I kind of like this one because it stays on better. When we originally started the videos, that's really what we had, was that. Then we also have a, is it called Micro? Or mono monopod monopod mono stick, or mono like stick. and we're going to use that with the camera and probably the camera that i actually am showing you this video on then we have this selfie stick that we're taking with us because it can also be used as a small mono uh, pod but it can't i need this big one for the camera especially if that big lens is on and you want to show them your walking stick that you made so another camera that we will be taking is our GoPro 7. This is the one that I do on the kayak. It uh, takes really good pictures. It's easier to use than the 8, believe it or not. And I take this, and it's still dripping some, with me when I'm kayaking. If I want to do underwater shots, I can stick it underneath the water. And um, I take this because it floats. And if it would somehow be in like my lap and not attached to the kayak... If we're swimming or whatever, it will float. And I've used it in the ocean too. Another one of the 
mount or the selfie sticks we use is this one here and as you can see it has a little place that once you charge this it's a battery so not only do you have the battery on your GoPro or whatever camera you're using, you can plug it into here and it charges it. So that's nice. And then the reason why we take this one is because it actually bends. And you can, you can show them, Jim. Jim, you want to show them? You can wrap it around things. So you can wrap it around it a level. tree, level it, um, hook it to the side of the camper okay. while we're outside, or even his stick tight on the stuff so that's super nice so we're taking that with us and then this is his mount i was talking about so this is a walking stick he actually bought a it was a dowel from lowe's and then he shimmy shammed or whatever it's called bone it and then he put this rope around it for a handle and then he made drilled a hole and he made a mount so that we can actually mount one of our cameras to the top so another camera we have here, and you probably have seen it sitting there, is this is this one, huh? We've used this for years. We've used it, well, we've used it since COVID. It's a DJI Action 2. The only reason why I don't like using it is it's harder for me to see what I'm recording. But it takes awesome pictures. Now there is an adapter that you can hook it to, and it attaches to your cell phone. And you can see it up through your cell phone, and it's a lot bigger. That's how I use it. Jim likes using it. This is great for like if you go into some place like a museum or inside a building and you don't want to carry a big camera that's huge. Big big. Yeah, it's just it's super small. It's a little pocket and everybody comments about it. Does that take good pictures? Yeah, it takes fantastic pictures. It also has a mic. External mic. Yeah. External mic, which is... With a tripod. tripod. Right. And, and then things. we have some new mics. That we're testing out that we're going to be taking and they attach to all of our camera gear so that's great they're comica mics they're real small yeah see they're super small jim likes to attach it to a uh, thing around his neck so that he doesn't lose it i usually just clip mine on but it's however you prefer and comes with wind muffs right so it works really good. And then lastly, we'll show you the camera that we're taking the pictures on. Where do we store all of our camera gear? Right here. Like it all fits right in this one drawer. And then the tripods actually go underneath our table right here. We stick those underneath and our walking sticks we always have that are behind us. Now the big camera lens here, I stick underneath our bed. This is the Insta360 Ace Pro. It's fairly new, it was released last year, late last year. Um, it's got a nice flippy screen. So I'm going to turn away from Jim and actually show you the camera itself. Nice flippy screen. It's got one button record. So you basically hit the button, you wait about two seconds, and it starts recording. Um, it's it's very a, similar to the GoPro. Very similar. But to easier to use. I think it's easier to use. It definitely is easier to use as far as pushing the buttons in and getting it to turn on. Yeah. But the GoPro so far has been just a touch clearer on some things. And it's reliable. You don't have to worry about losing footage. We haven't lost any footage on it. <laughs> we did on the GoPro a lot. So Yeah. Not on the 8. We lost lost it on our older one. Uh, we haven't lost it on the 7 either. No. But it's a nice big screen. It's got a real big flashing light to tell you that it's recording, which we like. You, they say the lens is not removable, but it is. You just have to turn it really hard and break a seal, and you can put a new lens on it or um, filters. So we like that. And somebody accidentally left it laying on the countertop here um, in Florida. And when we got here to Alabama, it was on the floor. So it had taken a ride across state, and the roads here were really bad, and it still works. We did crack the outside lens cover. Uh, but we have we have extra protectors, so if you do get one, make sure you get the the protector on it because it actually saved that camera. At least for us once, yeah. Yeah, so it's already paid for itself. So that is our camera gear that we are taking to Alaska. We've really been working out what we want to take, what we want to have. I wouldn't mind having one more GoPro um, and putting one of our old GoPros on top of the rig. So we are looking into maybe getting something cheap GoPro that we can find used or 
getting another new one and taking one of our old ones, but not the seven, and putting putting the eight on top of the rig as we go down the freeway so that you can get a better picture, not just on the hood of the truck. We have talked about that. We also, you know our camper, if you've seen our videos, has got full solar on the top. So we run everything on solar, but we can't run the Instant Pot. That's the only thing. We, we haven't tested the Instant Pot, let's just put it that way. But we can run the microwave. We don't have a, an oven, but we have a stove top. Our refrigerator is all DC. Our TV is DC too, isn't it now? No. no, it's electric, but it runs off of solar because we tested it. We almost bought a DC um, TV, that's why I was thinking about that. But along with that, we have a sh small solar, just a little pad that we can take out to charge stuff. This, which is a power pack. And if you can see on the back, you can charge one, two, three electric. It also has a light on it. On the front, you have one, two, three, four USB cords. And this thing works. We used it during the hurricane when we had no power for, what, three weeks? Yeah. Three or four weeks after the house got wiped out and we were at another pe my aunt's house and working on stuff. This saved us. So we are definitely taking our power pack. We're charging it right now because we're going to do some boondock. And then we also have this power bank for cell phones and whatever. We have this power bank. And then we have the solar power bank that we're taking with us. So that's just some of the extra solar power items that we're taking with us. So I just thought I'd throw that in there and show you. The next video will be at the Caves Cove, where we're probably going to go over our planning. What all it took to plan for this Alaska trip. And some people plan, some people don't. But we'll go into all that along with the Cave Cove review. Well, we hope you like this video. This is the camera gear that we use all the time. And these are the power packs that we take it with us as we travel across the United States, not just to Alaska. But this is definitely what we're taking to Alaska. And we hope you like this campground review that we didn't plan on doing. We were really surprised how nice this campground is here at DeSoto State Park in Alabama. There's a lot to do here. You have the zip line you have. In the summertime, you have the pool that you can pay to go to. You have that big field that you can go to. There are so many trails around here. There's a boardwalk trail. There's biking trails. There's regular trails. There's the preserve, the little river preserve, the waterfall that we showed you. There's more waterfalls. There's a lost waterfall down here and a DeSoto waterfall. So there's so much to do. We hope you enjoyed this video. If this camera gear helps you out or this video, can you please give us a comment? And give us a like. And if you haven't already, could you please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you very much.